While I do not really remember watching the G1 cartoon as a child, I always had a fondness for Devastator, for Combiners in general. I think that's one of the neatest aspects of Transformers is multiple characters combining into one larger robot. So ever since they were announced, I was interested in the, the, the third party, not Devastator figures, and I have finally started to spend money irresponsibly on them. So today I wanted to look at Heavy Labor by TFC Toys. Dump Truck by TFC, sorry, by Make Toys. And Heavy Load by Hasbro. This is <clears throat> the, from the Robots in Disguise line some time ago. It's part of the Landfill Combiner. But it's the only construction themed combiner I have that has a dump truck. So we have three dump truck type dealies or earth mover. Um, as you can see, in this mode, they're all fairly close in size. Um, Star Wars figure in the background for some sort of scale. They're all about the same. This one has a pretty good. dump action. The others really don't, um, but that's okay. I think this one in particular is really great looking. Um, it's very detailed out of the box, as is. Heavy labor looks okay, but Repro Labels has made some sticker sheets for the TFC Toys Hercules figures, and I intend to get them soon because they do add a bit of detail to them. Uh, but anyway, as dump trucks go, all three are not bad. This one's pretty simple looking and not finished transforming. Uh, this one is clearly the least good of them, but it also cost me five dollars. And these cost me a significant amount more than that. Um, I don't really have anything to say about anything more to say about vehicle modes other than I really like them and I love that this is a beautiful purple and green <clears throat> I didn't really expect to like the yellow G2 coloring of Make Toys Giant but it does look good but that hasn't stopped me from pre-ordering the green gift set as well and I will probably sell the yellow set sometime in the future alright let's go to bot mode and they are much more varied in height here, as is clearly visible. And here's the Clone Trooper. So that you can see they've all gotten quite a bit taller. Um, heavy load from the RID landfill line is a pretty plain, basic transformer. Um, I still kind of like it, but really he's not worth a lot of money. I do wish I had the Walmart exclusive set that was in the Devastator green and purple, but that one costs a bit more. Um, I'm not even sure how the official transformation has him. It might have him taller because his, but that looks kind of weird in the waist. Um, his bucket can be removed and used as some sort of claw weapon. I don't know why, but it can. Um, his articulation is pretty basic, nothing very impressive. I do like his smug grin, though. Um, frankly, he looks better as a dump truck and as the leg to landfill. But even extended, he's still, oh, I guess that makes him as tall as dump truck. Uh, Make Toys Dump Truck is cool. <clears throat> He's really beefy. Um, I really dig the way his arms fold up. Um, the guns look good on him. I will probably give this gun to Crane, even though this is the one that fits stores on him in Dump Truck mode, because he has a little bit longer forearms than Crane does, so this gun fits him better. <clears throat> um, of course, I will probably display these in Giant mode 
that is combined mode more often than not unless I don't sell the yellow set when I get the green set and TFC Toys Heavy Labor is also large and beefy and a little bit taller um, I also really like how these flaps fold up on this guy I like his transformation except for one bit where his hands fold up there's a little um, slot and this has a little tab and that is really kind of snug and I don't like it I'm afraid one of them is gonna warp or get broken off but it doesn't really matter all that much because again he will either be in bot mode or in combined mode more than likely combined mode um, I did like as I said he's got a great smug little grin but I, of course I much prefer the heads on these two guys um, I really dig the red visor and he has great light piping his is just a painted visor but both heads are really good and kind of reminiscent of each other someday I'd like to get a G1 Devastator and see if they resemble his head at all but I'm not going to spend money on that right now um, but anyway both pretty great bot modes um, decent transformations the only real complaint I have is with the make toys dump truck and it's a common problem these hinges right here where these front parts of the headlights of the dump truck they fold up the the plastic has too sharply of rounded corners so it pushes up against the bumper here it pushes up against the side and is very very tight although as you can see this one is not but that's because it is borked and you see in there the the, the it's, it's broken and it made me sad because this cost a lot of money apparently this is a widespread issue this one is still very snug but it's not broken yet but I'm going to be very careful with it apparently they have included pieces to replace those brackets, those hinges uh, with the third set. This is from set B consisting of uh, dump truck and the crane. I have set C on the way which consists of the cement mixer and the front loader, something like that. I don't know, I got it for the cement mixer. I always like to mix masters. I like the idea of of the cement truck. Um, but anyway, that set should hopefully be here tomorrow and I will try and swap out whatever pieces I need to to fix that because this toy was far too expensive to have it be breaking on the very first attempt at transforming it. Um, the other hinge has survived two transformations so far but I will not be changing it back until I have the new pieces on. Apparently the Hercules figures, the TFC Toys figures, some of them had issues with the first releases um, I don't remember if Heavy Labor had any issues. I don't know if I have the first release or the second release, but I haven't found anything wrong with it except for the little scratched silver paint there, but yeah, that's not really a big deal. kind of gives some character. I did buy this used, and I got it for 15 or $20 under retail, so I can handle a little scratch on his mouthpiece. But anyway, there you have it. R.I.D. figure not worth much and doesn't really cost much. The third party figures are great. They cost a lot of money. If you like Devastator and all and can find some way to afford it, sell a bunch of junk, that's what I'm doing. Hasbro's not going to give us a good Devastator anytime soon. They gave us one in the Classics line, which I do like, and I will be comparing the figures from that with the similar figures from these two. It does not have a dump truck, so it didn't get featured here. Um, it doesn't have a cement mixer either, but the one I have, somebody customed up a cement mixer out of one of the cranes. So when Mad Blender and Cement Mixer both arrive, I will do another review with those three. Landfill does not have a cement mixer either. Until then, thank you for watching. Um, there are other people that have done reviews. TJ Duckett, I believe was his name. I just watched his reviews comparing all of the Make Toys and 
TFC Toys figures. If you don't know which to get, go watch his reviews. He compares them in much greater detail than I am. I'm really trying to compare it to older figures because I don't think anybody's done that, and lots of people have compared the two to each other. So far, I don't favor one over the other, except, again, the green paint scheme. Um, I like the idea of Devastator enough that I intend to have both third-party sets, no matter which is better. So, thanks for watching. See you again sometime. And I almost forgot one thing. These piston dealies that belong to Dump Truck over there. I don't know if they're meant to be used. The instructions didn't show them being used as guns for him, but you know, they kind of look like guns. But this also pops out, and he has a giant flat screwdriver and a giant Phillips screwdriver. So he could use those as weapons instead of purple laser guns, but why would he do that?